So, what's <laughs> you giving you giving you giving you giving Deuce another breakdown today? Um, and and I don't care how many shows we might do three. We gonna be all wearing the same shit, and I'm gonna make I sure gonna, on the I screen. I have to change of clothes. I, was, I can. I forgot about. Illuminati I'm doing so much work. I forgot about the change of clothes. West Side Gun got hit with a copyright strike by WWE. Whoa! Let what me start this one is? off. Let me start this one off. So we all know that they're real big wrestling fans. We already know this. Vince, probably the, the most fuck, famous. Pro probably the biggest wrestling fans that we know about in hip hop. Certainly on this underground level, but they Ash. went mainstream now, right? So. Um, so I guess it, on Wednesday, January 5th, Griselda Record shared a screenshot on Instagram showing a notice from YouTube regarding the removal of several West Side Guns videos. Um, the takedown notice was issued by WWE and they were all for tracks that include audio from WWE interviews and shows. So Claiborne Kick, they went after, featuring Bodie James, French Toast with Wale, um, Benny and Conway assisted Allah sent me. Allah sent me such a great song. Um, the toe hurt business. <laughs> the hurt business. The toe hurt business. The toe hurt business. <laughs> so in November, Greg Hamilton, I guess he used to be an announcer for W. So he said. He used to be. Used to be. He said, well, uh, at West Side Gun, at Buffalo Kid. Uh, okay, so wait a minute. So the dude Greg Hamilton said, well, at West Side Gun, this is him tweeting, right? At Buffalo Kids Gallery. Let's hope that since you stole, in all caps, my voice for your incoherent kindergarten fables. Wait, wait. Right? Yeah. Right, that, you, that you say, I hope you saved up enough delivering for DoorDash. You'll be paying me for years. Apologize. And I'll think about not collecting every dime for the rest of your life. Well, damn. Or I could just get WWE lawyers. That's okay, too. Settle with my lawyer and don't ever, all caps, use my voice again. So wrong. Snitch! WWE is giving my man West Side Gun problems. He paying homage to the industry, paying homage to the profession. He done been backstage with these cats. They love him! Fun, Okay, talk to me about the dynamic that's going on. The wrestling thing has been a thing with Griselda for so long that before they were blowing up as big as they're at now, yo, they got pictures with all of them. They were all flattered. Wasn't he on some shit with, like, on Recently. a wrestling show? They shouted him out on some shit. So they're so going to stop. All right, so this is unfortunately the bitter sweetness of the come up. Vince, Vince, get your shit together, bro. Like, these are people that are supporting the culture that are bringing a whole nother wave of, like, viewers and, and new energy to your shit. The fuck is wrong with you, man? Like, and then on top of that, like, it's been years and y'all not been acknowledging West and West be front row, like, consistently. You know what I mean? Y'all don't give them the camera shots. Y'all don't give them the fucking shout outs and shit. He continuously bringing more and more people. And at a time, too, like, let's keep it a buck, especially WWE. Your product is fucking failing, man. Like, y'all been making trash for a good minute. And the fact that, like, you got somebody who's so committed to the culture and then the, the merging of the fact that, like, black culture has always been intrigued with wrestling. What the fuck is wrong with you? And he and made was... the people that were scared to talk about the fact that they still loved wrestling. Yeah. He made it's, a it's lot cool. of people comfortable with it, too. And on top of that, a lot of these records that's on YouTube, and this is why I'm like double annoyed, is because like I already know a lot of shit that was put on YouTube and that was put on the streaming sites, they did that after the Shady deal. And they did that because, you know what I mean, they were able to get clearance for this shit, which means that either the motherfuckers ignored, you know what I mean, noticed, or they let the shit slide, and now for whatever reason, they decided to be petty. And instead of fucking taking an opportunity to embrace the culture and do something that would bridge it and, and you know what I mean, like let all these fans celebrate and jump in. You're doing dumb shit. That's why, that's why fucking WWE is trash right now. Anyways, like everybody go watch AEW, go watch HOG. That's Master P shit that West got a piece in anyway. That's pro that's really probably why they did that. But if you still real, let West Side Gun hit you with a steel chair. Let him hit you with the steel chair on bra and then let the people hear that good ass music with that vibe of wrestling and let us enjoy the culture. Be a Cage real one. match, man. motherfuckers. Griselda versus you. Allah sent me to be the king. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Listen, so right now, I'm trying to keep it interesting. We're going to do the segment that we really, really love around here, and it's called Just a Tip Pause with Big Friends. Like 
And now, just a tip with Big French. All right, here's a tip. When your back is against the wall and all hope is lost, and you're down to your last dollar, don't call me. I'm busy that day. And that was just a tip with Big French. <laughs> so wait, he'll just put the tip in? Not me. No. It's, it's, you it's, just said it's an advice segment. It's called... a segment. Clearly, I do not have one on one, but did, did, the did way you that you just talked did, about him inserting just the tip when he would send it to you, did, the way did, you said it. Did you just you see what just happened? Do you see how funny I'm not on was? birth control, so okay. I just want to see what I'm in for. So what's <laughs> Deuce, you give it, you give it, you give it, you give it, Deuce another breakdown today. So Ed Lover, remember, shout to Ed Lover. Um, Ed Lover MCO, said, he said, oh, no. Ed Lover, Ed Lover, Ed Lover said, Dame Lillard raps better than French Montana. Oh, and I'll prove it to you, French Montana. Damian Lillard got better rap skills than you got, homie. Booyaka. Yeah, I said it. Yeah, Ooh. I said it. If you give me MC to MC, Dame Lillard will bust French Montana's ass. Ed I Lover is right. Ed, Ed Lover is right. Say, French Montana don't give a fuck. All right, right, cool. That's cool. I'm talking about I'm talking about lyrics and bars. That's what I do, right? And he's made oh, a yeah. statement about somebody's skill level as it comes to rapping. And he said one guy is better than the other. He said the guy that plays professional basketball is better than the dude who makes a living at rapping. He's right, right? I haven't heard a whole bunch of right. Dame Dollar song. He go by Dame Dollar. Listen, I listened to this song yesterday. It's called Right One. Uh. One of a kind, they know I'm the nigga, they recognize a stepper. I pull up to my hood, they treat me like I'm regular. Private plane, my rolly plane, I don't do nothing extra. All the tires on my phones bought like Uncle Festa. Dame Lillard is lit on the mic. When you hear, it's going to my playlist, I'm playing it on the show. Listen, Dame Lillard can actually spit. Now, listen, he don't spit good for a basketball player. He spits. This nigga can legit open your show, Deuce. Legit. He can feature on your album. French, you will be happy to mix and master for him. Beans, you'll be happy to spin this motherfucker's record. Dame Dil Dame Little is the truth. Okay? Now. Wait, you just finding this out though, Mike? No, I knew. I the forget 2015 shit. Sway Freestyle he did. Me being the chosen one was like a blessing and exception. City known for homicide, majority depression. Grinding in the gym so I could live through the recession. Real goons show me love because they could feel how I'm connected. Background of a street dude, mind of a scholar. Just to pop our collar, man, we climbing for the dollar. I mean it when I say it, bro. We started from the bottom. Childhood friends dropping like leaves in this autumn. He came correct now. Listen. I, I did know he could rap back there. in the day, but he got he, he get buried in the mix. All these names we be talking about, it ain't like somebody say, who you listen to? I might say I'm listening to Deuce Ellis, I'm listening to fucking West Side Down, I'm listening to the Rome Streets. I don't be saying I'm listening to Dame Lillard. I just don't know niggas is running around bumping Dame Lillard. But yeah, like didn't Shaq I, diss him in 2019? Shaq don't want it with Dame Lillard. And he Shaq don't. had a banger in 94. My Ford Explorer booming with the clunk of funk. All you jealous punks can't stop my dunks. What's your favorite rap basketball collab? Like Shaq and Fushniks. Ooh. Not Shaq and Biggie. Shaq and Biggie didn't have a track. Oh my God. But I, yo, Kobe was talking that fly shit and he had bars on that one joint. Fuck, he's like wearing a suit. And Stay strong, pride telling me move on. My heart's fighting me, forcing me to hold on. Yours forever, fell for you beyond measure. Pure as ever, amazed by sins of treasure. Can, can we just rewind for a sec though, yeah. real quick? And just say, why did, why motherfuckers gotta take shots at French rapping skills to say that somebody else could rap good? It's opinion. Right. That's why I don't go with that shit. No, no, no but no, but it was, it, like they were saying it in the way that like Dame really, Lillard raps really good in comparison to French Montana who don't rap good. I should and have the context. They both this used to rap better. Can, than click, they do can now. you click both the link so we can know what the context is? I it's my fault. I didn't do proper prep this week. No, 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 no. I'm I'm saying, but like people do that a lot though. They'll be like, yo, this rapper who's not really in the space rap better than this rapper who's not. Yeah, you know I mean, who make they money? They want attention. They want to stir the pot. That's people that and just I'm want like, to stir the pot. I'm like, that's not even French's contribution to the culture, though. And so, and you know Vlad, I mean? like, when we look back, it's, come on, it's on, it's on Vlad. Like, you know what Vlad oh, is bitch. on. Vlad? 
Snitch. This story, we got to talk about this shit. I want to, I want, I'm, we're just going to do the facts. Just going to do the facts. We're just going to do, for me, I'm just going to do the facts. He was on with Angela Yee, Jim Jones. Oh, God. Mm hmm. I missed the Listen, it's, a, it. it's in the public space. And Jim Jones said his mom taught him how to kiss. And, they, and she said, How? And he said, She taught me how to tongue kiss. That's what he said. Um, <laughs> come on, what, what, that's what, what in the is going on right now? B, check it out. The Dipset member added that it's common for younger, younger mothers treat their daughters or sons like they are sisters and brothers. Rather than their child due to their closest in age, but so what? Like, so you kiss your brother and sister? That's how y'all get down in Harlem? Chill, son. Hold on, hold on, B. Hold the, on. the Harlem what hold trotters? On. Hold on, Boston. Hold on, Boston. <laughs> hold your water. <laughs> hey, listen. Hey, look at look at French got actual notes. He might be looking at the internet. I don't know what he's looking at. I can see this nigga working today. French, French. French. Did right, you read not this? just kiss. Is that why you took the glasses off? Kiss. Frenchy, how did you mm -hmm. get your name? Nah. No, no, no. I name. Get edit it out. That whole thing gets edited out. Look, if it was a no, joke, she drew that it would have been like, yeah, my mom taught me how to tongue kiss. She stuck her tongue in my mouth. Does that sound right? And if that sounds right to him, does he have kids? What? I'm going to edit that part out. No, listen. <laughs> I got to be quiet. I got to be the referee. <laughs> I got a thought Somebody flag hurt on the... him. His Whoa. mommy hurt him. Did she what teach you how to give a hand job too? Yo, yo. And then... yo, she got the headline and just changed the subject quick. And with... show me on the doll where else she kissed you. <laughs> hey, so I'm just saying. <laughs> My views do not stand for everybody else up on here, but I'm going to tell you I have questions. I just have a bad taste in my mouth from this whole conversation. I would too right? if my mom put her tongue in my mouth. Justin, Speaking right. of kissing, before we get out of here, because I got this, I got the, this network on my cable called Buzzer. You, you know, just you ever seen this channel? It's game what? shows, old school. We talk about kissing, really? and me and my girl been watching um, Family the, Feud. Ah, right, Richard Dawson, this guy. All the bitches. Do you know about this, French? Remember this shit? Yeah, he put his mouth on it all. He didn't give a whole bunch of women herpes or some shit. This... I'm telling you, you have to get tested for herpes. Goodbye. So look, Richard Dawson, ah. right? He would, he would, he would go up to every single contestant on Family Feud that was a female, and kiss them on the mouth. What's it? <laughs> The husband's standing right there, and he gonna come in. Listen, he already kissed you once. Now he coming back through the line. He kissing you on the mouth again. Your wife. Your wife. Now, listen, and, he and leaning in daughter. like this. My man. My man. <laughs> Nobody ever knocked him. They gotta sign a waiver before that. Nobody like, gave. Nobody gave him the bing bong. Bing bong. Fuck your life. Oh my God, you're real them. Could Steve Harvey do the same shit? I just want to know, like, the husband's got to know coming into this how it is, because how the fuck ain't you getting knocked out? Because I'll tell you, Damn. If I would if, if it was a female host and she leaned in and kissed my husband, I'd be like, bitch, you better kiss me first. Get my sloppy seconds. Listen, ho. and I will give it, I will give, the only thing I will give him credit for is he even kissed the ugly ones. It was always some real, some, some real broke down broad sometimes be on Family Feud. And I'd be like, I wonder will he kiss her on the mouth? When they, when they were, they did a spoof about the women not being able to get a uh, job because their tits weren't pointy enough. Because <laughs> you remember back in the day, the bitches had the, the pointy fucking shit. Ah, like, the bullet the bra. The Madonna shit. The bullet bra. <laughs> Let me listen. Yeah. I don't. I really. I never wanted to do this. Let me tell you why. I never wanted to do this. I we we did good this kind of today. We did, but I was like, I hope I'm this sorry, guys. I'm just a nasty ass happened. show. But now you didn't did it. Now you didn't did it. Is it a difference between seventies titties and like nineties <laughs> and Yo. then twenty twenty titties? There yes. it is. Hell yeah. They because you lived through all pointier. these eras, though, Bean. You lived through every era. Have your boobs changed? And so back in the day. 
you know, it was cool to have, you, you didn't want to fat, you, them flat asses. You know what I'm saying? Like, that was in style at one point in time. What accounted but for the, no, it was never, not in my hood. It was never. Were but, also more curved. Like, white girls' titties, especially nipples, were more No, no nigga I was ever with was like, I need me a bitch with a flat ass. So look, like, nah. maybe it's because of the style of the bras. No, I'm talking about like the white fucking like the George Michael phase of white people music. You know what I'm saying? Like the, with the gray fucking uh, Z Cavariccis and shit like that. You know Z Cavariccis? You know what I'm saying? And them no, she didn't. And shit. Oh, I just smashed my finger. Hey, Sorry. so what accounts for? I need to know this. I need what what accounts for the banana titties? Because I used to call them carrot tits. Because when I was growing up too, on top of that, like. Bras were different too, so I used to have to French. be careful because certain bras, if they weren't shaped right, I'd be like, I look like I have carrot tits. They don't make bras like that anymore, so th that could be the thing too. The the way they're supporting us now and keeping us, I mean, you gotta you gotta do push ups and shit like that. You can't be forty if I was forty and have perky ass double D's. You know what I'm saying? Like, no. you have to actually work on that. You know what I'm saying? So mine might be pointy if I didn't work out. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? You keep, I ain't stepping on nipples and French, swinging them around. Remember, French, remember, Something remember, about remember, Mary. remember, um, sixth grade, French, seventh grade, school library, National Geographic. Remember? <laughs> wait, That's where I learned. Wait, 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 not, not the, not the, the pointers. <laughs> Man, right. If you was and one of only, you was one of, you was of one of only three niggas in the school that knew about it at first. And then everybody knew it. And then all of a sudden you come back in February. After out. All the, um, yeah. So I don't know how, what, what on my page led us to if banana. If you had a porn yeah, name, what would it be? It, right? Mine mine would be Harry Twatter. <laughs> <laughs> and my new rap, my rap name now, because it was Beanie Kegel last year, but now I'm AKA Kanye Breast. Douche, Make sure that y'all share this video and like. You gotta like this joint. You gotta hit the like on it and you gotta share it so YouTube understands that the shit is lit. For, for, for Big French the Pragmatic, for Deuce Ellis, and for DJ Beans on Mike Powers Global. Thank you for connecting with us. Now, go connect with each other. Oh.